out. I don't think to wear it if I'm just going on like a little walk, but I really need to start because <laughs> these walks I go on are long and it's becoming summer now. Or I'll actually I'll only put sunscreen on if I'm putting makeup on because I'll wear I'll wear it like under my makeup. But if I don't have makeup on, I like don't wanna clog my pores up with sunscreen. Hello everyone. I'm just talking to myself until people join. I'm good, how are you? Guys, I came live right now because I wanted to talk to you guys because I'm on, um, there's this girl on here who wears this t-shirt called Cancel Me. And she was like talking about this like whole snark community. And a few months ago, you guys like loved reading the LA, inf LA influencer snark on reddit when i would be on live so i wanted to ask you guys about this because i thought it was like so crazy that it's like dangerous i always thought it was like a funny little thing like we used to joke about reddit on my lives all the time <laughs> um i look clean because i just washed my face and put on pajamas um i'm 25. No, I, okay, that's why I wanted to go on live because I wanted to talk about it with you guys because I never knew who she was before she like is going on this series talking about it and I watch every single one because I'm so intrigued by it because I never like read the stuff on there enough to know that it's like really dark and ominous. Like I used to read it on live with you guys and it was all just like silly jokes, like making fun of what people say on their podcasts and stuff. But now I like feel so bad. I'm like, oh, I'll never do that again when I'm on live. <laughs> I was just looking at it right now. Like I went on Reddit to go read like what people were saying about her and I couldn't even find anything. So, um, I don't know. I've been pretty bored today, as you can tell. What did I make for dinner? I just posted a video actually making dinner. I don't know what her name is. She wears a shirt that is that says cancel me and she's pregnant and she's going on this like whole series about hate on the internet and then wait what was the other one i just saw oh this is how i'm rude oh no <laughs> yes chapman is her last name and then someone else another creator made a video like also talking about snark communities and she like said in the comment in the caption like tag influencers that you like like let's uplift them and like two people tagged me and i was like oh thank you um but then i got so sucked in to like reading all the comments about everything so this is this is what i've been doing for like the past hour guys <laughs> i i love reading about tea and like skincare routine um, I use Youth to the People face wash. Then I use, there's this new brand called Innis. Well, new to me. It's definitely not new to the market. It's called Innis Free. I use their retinol because it's like a gentle retinol. And this one doesn't make me break out. I was using the Glossier one for a little bit. Hi, Nikki. I was using the Glossier retinol for a little bit. And it was my first time ever trying retinol. And it was making like little these little like pimply things all over my forehead. So I stopped using that. And then I got this like Innisfree kit because I went to this Amazon event and they just gave us like a whole thing of Innisfree. And now I, it's like my new favorite skincare brand. I think it's Korean, like Korean skincare. I could be wrong though. <laughs> oh, where's my keyboard? Um, so during the day, I, I don't use that during the day. I don't know why I said during the day. During the day, I just used the You To The People face wash and then the Innisfree like gel moisturizer. And then at night, I use the same face wash, the Laneige like milk toner, retinol from Innisfree, and then Innisfree moisturizer. This is the most complex my skincare routine has ever been. <laughs> but I just, I've been getting more PR lately, so it's so fun and I like to use all the stuff. It's not a set actually. These pants were a tie-dye set I made in like COVID, but they got washed so many times that they just are back to their original color. I said I made them, I did not make them. I bought them from like 
a local seller. <laughs> I don't know why I lied. Um, and then the t-shirts is for any mobile t-shirt that I wear like every single day. Um, I tried making tie-dye sweats in COVID and it, it didn't go well. Every set that I tried to make came out so terribly. Um, guys, today I was just so chronically online, so I'm really topping it off now by being live on TikTok. I swear all I did today was just, I was on my phone from morning to night. I went on a walk this morning just to like get coffee, which I'm gonna go back tomorrow to make a video about because it was like unexpectedly such good coffee. Um, and then I had this whole plan to do like 20,000 steps today and record myself like everywhere I would go doing 20,000 steps, but my legs were just so sore because I did a workout class yesterday and every time I go, I, every time I do a workout class, I'm just like, I can't do anything for the next two days. So it's so counterproductive. My last name is pronounced Dushai in Albanian, but I, my whole fam, not my whole family, all the young people in my family say douche. Because, I don't know, teachers called us that, so it kind of just stuck. Am I going to have a roommate in Manhattan? Okay, I'm so confidently saying in all my TikToks that I'm moving to Manhattan. Guys, I have no apartment. I haven't even started looking at apartments. I just, I'm jumping to conclusions a lot. I'm definitely gonna be moving home first too. So I don't even know how I'm gonna be posting on TikTok when I'm living at home because it's literally impossible to record anything in my house. I mean, at least like I can go places. I can do stuff like in the city, um, but I won't be able to stream. So that'll be annoying. I am leaving LA next month. You don't, you don't need to be mutuals for you to be able to watch my lives. I grew up in the Bronx. I won't talk about it though because I, I talk about it too much <laughs> that I'm becoming J-Lo. I know, but I made a video there uh, the other day saying like, how does anyone do 20,000 steps? And so many people in the comments were like, I do 30,000 steps like every single day. It's actually not that hard. So I wanted to just challenge myself and try to do it. The only time I ever did 20,000 steps in a day is like when I go to Disney or something, like you're at an amusement park. I don't, even when I was on vacation, I was doing less steps in Europe than I do here because you walk to like see something. I don't know, like you're not walking far, far distances. Hi Sky, Sky, sorry I didn't go on Twitch tonight. I was just too lazy. <laughs> Also, I get really scared to play video games like at night when my roommate's not home because when you have the headset on, you literally don't hear anything in the real world. Like just the other day, yesterday I was on Twitch and my roommate was in the, in the other room, literally screaming at the top of her lungs, just at a movie, but I didn't even hear it. Like the people on Twitch heard it before me. So that's why I get a little scared. Because <laughs> if I'm home alone, like I literally, someone could probably kick the door down and I wouldn't hear it with my headset on. So I get a little scared to stream when I'm alone. What do I do for work? That's another thing I've been ranting about so much because <laughs> I just quit my job last month. So I feel like I've been explaining it like five times a day on here and I don't want to bore people with it. But yeah, long story short, I was working corporate for three years and it was just a really terrible company. If I didn't quit, I was probably gonna get laid off soon and I wouldn't have been able to even go to like my boyfriend's brother's wedding. I would have had to work during it. So I was like, if there's any time to quit, it's now. And I needed a new job anyway. Um, yeah, that job was like really, really terrible, terrible. Um, it's so crazy because I've only been not working now for like, I don't even know, not very long. And it already feels like decades ago that I was working. Like I already, I wake up in the morning and it's already like hard for me to wake up at eight now when I used to be waking up at 5.50 a.m. 
my body like so quickly forgot about that. Now, if I want to go to like a workout class at nine, it's like a struggle to wake up at eight. So. Being unemployed is pretty boring though. Thank you, I have so many nice people in here today. I just have on the Laneige slip mask, the slip mask, sleep mask, but my lips are pinker than usual right now because I think they're sunburned. My face is more sunburned too because I've been walking so much without wearing sunscreen. Um, oh yeah, I was just in the mood to talk tea with you guys. If you guys have any drama to tell me about. What have I been seeing lately? Line, that's interesting. Gracie Abrams came out with Close to You. I can't believe I haven't made a video about that yet. That's like, that little clip it that was on TikTok was like my favorite song ever, just that 10 second clip it. I already listened to the full song like 20 times today. I'm in LA right now, but I'm from New York City and I'm moving back there next month. Um, what's a podcast I enjoy? Lately, I've really been liking Therapus. I like that he's 